Hello everybody. Today I'm doing a collab with some of my girls and this is for Learn About Butterflies Day. It's on the 14th obviously and it's a day where worldwide you can go, I suppose you could do any time of year but it's a day focused on learning all about butterflies. What they do, what they help with plants and all that. So I'm going to give these all two coats of white polish from Beatles and I will be right back. Okay, so they've all had two coats and they've had their cure. Now there's a slight tacky layer. So I'm going to put diamond dust from nail sugar over all the nails just to give them a wee bit sparkle. When I think of butterflies, I think they spread sparkle everywhere they go. It's just how I see them. But maybe I won't do all the nails. Maybe I'll just do three of them. Oops. It'd help if I could keep it stuck to the... The watch my collar, right? That one's not going to be sticky anymore, so we won't be doing that one. Silly thing. So let's do the pointer. I love this glitter. You can use it for just about anything. And obviously I'm putting it over white here so you can see the colour it actually is. But if you're putting it over like a black or a deep blue or anything like that, it'll change. It changes colours and it's just beautiful. Will we do the thumb as well? I think so. Just because I really like the diamond dust. <laughs> So it doesn't take long, as you can see, you're just dabbing it. And then once I've done these, I'm going to top coat all the nails and I'll be right back to start the actual design. Okay, we're back and we're all top coated, etc, etc. Now I've actually put a layer of this foil gel onto the pinky nail, which I didn't film for some unexplained reason. I have no idea why. Don't ask me things like that because I have no clue. And these wee butterflies from Nail Sugar are just beautiful. And I thought they would go really nicely with all the iridescence from the diamond dust. So I'm just going to put them down the nail. And I'm not going to worry about them sticking up. Obviously if this was a set that I was going to wear, which you never know, I might one day. Um, I probably would definitely top coat them. Um, and make sure that there was no jaggy bits but because it's going to be a display nail for at least for the time being um, I'm just going to leave it as is let's get another blue one on there so literally this design is going to be a straightforward butterfly I'm not even looking to do other designs I just want all the pretty butterflies what do you think? They're nice, eh? right? So I'm going to cure this and then I'll be back. Okay, I've decided I'm going to use this image with the butterfly that's hovering above the flower. And we're just going to reverse stamp this. So, where's my stamp pad? There it's there. Okay, so let's clean all this off. I didn't get another stamp it out and I really don't have the energy to go and find one. So well, once I've stamped this, while this is drying, I think I shall go and make myself a cup of coffee and then come back and by that time it should be almost dry and I'll go have my stamper back. Isn't that a clever idea? So, let's get rid of this for the time being. And I've got a nice glass surface here so I can put out different polishes. I need a tiny wee brush. That one's too big. Where's the Natalie's brush? That's a good brush. There we go. Here's the Natalie Mugridge brush. I love this. It's so tiny. So, so tiny. So we'll use that. So I do like this purple and I do want to use it. So we're going to put just a wee, a wee drop because that's all we need. Let's go for this bit here. 
and let's put here. Oops. And that's it for the purple for the time being. I also want some pink. I think I'm going to make that flower, a sunflower. What do you think? So here is where I would normally put some music on and just let you watch. But today I'm going to tell you a wee bit about butterflies, things that I've been looking up and learning myself. So. A butterfly is a mainly day flying insect which includes butterflies and moths. The butterfly's life cycle consists of four parts egg, larva, pupa, pupa, and adult. Butterflies have large, often brightly coloured wings and conspicuous fluttering flight. Butterflies feed primarily on nectar from flowers. Some also derive nourishment from pollen, tree sap, rotting fruit, dung decaying flesh and dissolved minerals in wet sand or dirt. Butterflies are important as pollinators for some species of plants, although in general they do not carry as much pollen load as bees. I didn't know they pollinated. I knew that they landed on flowers, but I didn't know that they pollinated. So you learn something new every day, don't you? Tell me what you know about butterflies that I haven't just mentioned. Let me know down below. Okay, we're back. Let's just double check that it's all dry. Yes, it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a coat of the foil gel on because I want to make sure it's going to transfer okay. So we need a wee bit of stickiness. So a wee thin coat of this, I'll just do it fine. Actually, well, that's curing. I've actually pulled out one of my other new plates that I got in that haul, the Nicole Diary L01. And also, this one, Clear Jelly Stamper 58. Um, I kind of mind what this is called. Autumn Garden or something like that. And I'm actually going to use this image here, which is a three-layered image. And I think it'll be absolutely gorgeous. So, that's coming up. Let's transfer. Where do I want this? No, because it looks like... I want the flower to look like it's grown from somewhere. It's going to have to be on the side. So, let's... Do it from there. There we go. And I am going to stamp more butterflies on there. That's where I've done it so far up. Because it would have looked okay further down as well, I think. But I want to stamp more. And um, I want to do... these weird ones here. Now again, they're two layers, so we're just going to play it by ear and see what we come up with. How's that? Get off. Oops. <laughs> I didn't know that. So we'll have a blue base for this butterfly. And then for the outline, I think we should try and keep it so that it's relatively matching. So I'm going to do a darker pink for these wee bits. 
see how that turns out. If we don't like it, we can always take it off and do it again. It's all the stamping. Let's see. Oh yeah, I like that. That's really nice. Okay, one more. One more. So, we will use the one we originally started using. Or is that the one I've just used? No, that's the one I've just <laughs> used. So I'm going to go with this one. And this time we're going to have a yellow butterfly. Just because. So this collab is actually hosted by Karina from Karina's Nail Designs. She asked if anyone would be interested in doing it. And of course, most of us said, yep, of course, count me in. So I'm going to do the outline of this one in black just to tie in with the top butterfly. And then that with this nail finished and ready for top coat. my hands are shaking that much. <laughs> Oops, I missed. No, it's not too bad. It still looks nice, I think. Okay, so we'll put that one aside. So that's the pinky and the index done. Let me get cleaned up a wee bit and work out what we're going to do next, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have changed my mind so many times about this mani. So, what I'm going to do, and I think I'm going to stick with it, is I'm going to do these well, we call them clocks, dandelions, don't know what everybody calls them, but I'm going to do these and then put my embellishment on top of them, kind of thing. So I want to have them sitting kind of there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I don't know, yeah I do. I'm going to take off this wee bit here because I don't want that. I want to put more stocks down. And because my hands are shaking and not very steady today. Oh, see? Not very steady today. Um, I'm going to stamp them. I know they're just wee lines, but I'm not doing too great today. Not ill-wise or anything like that. I'm just not having very much luck with them um, this money. So what I'm gonna do is just the stocks I'm sorry if you can hear music. Jonathan's on a be dance trip through in his room which is right through the wall from my nail room. See I I, I don't know what the hell is going on today. Oh goodness sake, see? See, it just doesn't want to work. Nothing wants to work out today. But, I've had my wee tantrum. <laughs> and I'm not going to have any more. So I think what I might do is put another one down the bottom just to cover that up. I'm going to take that off of there. Mrs. Robinson, Jesus holds a place for those who pray. Hey, hey, hey. I think I should just try drawing stocks with that, eh? What do you think? I think I will. I think I will. Which brush? Long liner brush would probably be good. Okay. Goodness, please just work. Nothing wants to work for me today. 
No, 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 no. That is... Okay, so I've moved it down a wee bit. Because I thought it would be better where I've put it. So, we're going to attach our little butterfly cluster. And I'm going to do it with Paula Gel. Because that is a heck of a big embellishment. Don't need a lot of Paula Gel. But it does just hold it better than glue or anything like that. So I'm going to pop this here. And then we're going to go over this with top coat. Then the nail's top coated and the poly gel does not have a sticky layer. So it's the best of both worlds. And then I'm simply going to place this. Now I worked out that I think, oops, I wanted that crystal right in the middle of that clock. So it's like the butterflies are just coming to rest on the flowers. What do we think? That look okay. I like it there. I really like that. That is so pretty. Yep, yeah, that's it. I'm going to cure it and I'll be back. And there we are at the lamp. What do you think? I really like it. I maybe should have moved the flowers down a bit here. Oh well, I still like it. So, what I want to do with this one, and I don't know if it's going to work or not, the way my luck's running today with this Manny, I don't think it will. But however, however, they're going to try it. So I want to stamp a few of these butterflies with stamping gel and um, foil them. So, let's just make sure that this is clean. Let me find my stamping gel. Right, so, here we have some Born Pretty stamping gel. So let's try. I don't need that much. It doesn't want to pick it up. I didn't think it would. Oops. going to work for me today at all. Okay, I've had these plates for a long time, but I haven't used them for a long time. And then I saw, who was it now? It was either Tina from maybe be Nails or it was Gailene. I can't remember, but one of them was using the, the Queen plates and I remembered I had these. So, what I'm going to do is this big butterfly here. I'm going to stamp it in black and then we're going to maybe do some more reverse stamping. We'll see. Right, now I need to try and clean this up a bit if I'm going to do this. That's the only thing. I mean, I do like the buffy plates where there's like loads and loads to choose from on the plate, but it's so much easier with just single images. So much easier. Okay. Oops. So, let's get rid of that. Before I cover myself in polish. Which is exactly the sort of thing I would do today. What about these two? I quite like them. I'm 
Okay, so let's do this bit first. Don't have to worry about the brush with this bit. You can just um, paint it. Yeah, I think I'll do that bit as well, just to tie it in a wee bit. Because I've already gone over it anyway. Then what we're going to do is get... I do have a dot and tool somewhere. There. And I'm going to put a wee bit of this same blue on there. And the wee bits that I've got the dots on them we're going to dot with pale blue. Mm, maybe should have got a smaller dotting tool, but never mind. There we go. Right. Let's clean this up. Okay, what we're going to do with the darker blue is go over these. Just go right over the top. Obviously, I've went over the lines a wee bit there, but we will fix that when it's on the nail. I'm not going to fix it just now on the stamper. We'll fix it on the nail. Look, let's just put a wee dab of that blue in there. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to let this dry, and then we shall come back. Okay, so I think this should be dry enough. Yes. Right, so what I want to do is line up so that it's obviously on the very edge. There we go. Now I do need to tidy those couple of bits up. Because I'm not very good at staying in the lines. With that. Oh, apart for those few bits, let's try and tidy those few bits up. I'll probably make more mess than anything, but hmm, there we go. So, we're going to top coat this. So pretty, so pretty. So pretty. Right, I'll cure this. Then we'll be back. Okay, so that's curing in the lamp. And I came across this plate. This is one of the ones that I got from I May Lee when they sent me their stamping kit to try out and review. I'm not going to reverse stamp this. What I am going to do is use a few different colours. So I'm going to go with blue, pink, purple. And just, what's it called? What's that word? I don't know, but I know what I'm talking about. Right, so there's that butterfly done and finished. It's lovely. I really like that. And oh, that's the thumb that goes there, Faye. Right, so what we're going to do is... What's it called? Ombre gradient. Whatever. So we need to unscrew all the lids. I don't know why I'm talking like that. I will stop it now. OK, 
can you even see what I'm doing? Not very well. Ah, right, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with blue up the top there. And go on to pink in the middle. And then purple down the bottom. I think I hit the pink there. No, I didn't. And then when you're doing this, just give it a couple the scrapes, moving it around so that you can pick up all the colours. There's money on there, money on. And then what I'm going to do is just take this straight down the middle. And then I'm going to do exactly the same again. I'll clean this up and I'm just going to do the same again. Blue, pink, purple. I wasn't going to take the top image, but I am now. Okay, so let's top coat this and get it in the lamp. I happen to know there is some beautiful, beautiful, stunning, stunning 3D work in some of these manis. So make sure you check out all of them because I'm not going to tell you who it is that's done it. But they are absolutely freaking amazing. And that is it for this design. Thank you so much to Karina for asking me to join. I hope you've loved how it turned out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!